Good morning. I am Dr. Asthana. Uh, I'll be taking the election law on the topic of uh, the opinion and exit poll. Earlier, we have already discussed with the, uh, another topic. Now, we are going to discuss with the opinion and exit polls. It is established practice that the whole opinion poll must be uh, either uh, this, uh, it, it is when uh, the press has the, the power to have the opinion poll and exit poll also, but uh, there were the issues related to the opinion poll as well as the exit poll also that the, some of the parties or who has objected and maybe many people has objected regarding this. But um, I wanted to go some back uh, in this that the, uh, earlier it was an established practice that the, during the run up and election not only in India but in the another democratic countries also I'm going to um, the describe some of the country where the these type of practices either exist or the ban. So the methodology which has been adopted is also a very it plays the important role. The various newspaper, magazines, and other periodicals publish the result of the such opinion locally, nationally, or even in internationally. The electronic media has also put them into the air to show to the viewers while covering the publicity that the dissemination of such result of the opinion received in the print or the elect electronic media, particularly uh, during the, the polls. It has a great potential influencing the elections or the, the candidate or any other things. Here, the various agency conducted the poll survey either as I mentioned, the print as well as the electronic media or any other, which likely the voting pattern effect. The dissemination of the result of the survey, though from the different media, but on the date of poll, actual result of the election is sought to be predicted on the basis of information collected from the voters means that can be the the exit poll and it is the definition also that the on the day or or the actual result of the election which has been predicted by the different agency collected from the voters and again given after the even during the 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 period of the 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 election but after some time this has got the objection by the different parties and including the some of the in the case where the this um, election commission has uh, represented in the supreme court of india where this has been objected that these type of practices should not be carried out by the, the, the press. Whereas, apart from the opinion poll, exit poll also conducted by some organization on the day of the poll. And considering this, the magnitude of the electoral in India, and particularly this time, just I want to mention here that the countrywide world, world, uh, countrywide the general election to the house of the people and the complexity 
of the operation involved in the conduct of the, this, uh, this general election. The poll has necessarily to be taken into the phase manner. And once it is taken into the phase manner, then the prediction for the poll has, is going to be play a very important role. But here, the sum of the restriction of the exit poll by the election commission has given after that this uh, direction of the the supreme court or the the objection by the different political parties first is publishing the result of the opinion poll on earlier phases will have the potential to influence the voting pattern in the subsequent phase here, the second point is that opinion poll, which are conducted during the run of the poll, is likely to influence the mindset of the, that as we have discussed here, that the corrupt practices also, play, uh, also plays the important role while changing the mind of the voters. Then for them, the representation were made by the election commission, by the various, various political parties to, to see on, to uh, watch on, to restrict on the opinion poll and exit poll and publication of their result, particularly when the polling process was still on and this would be stopped also but further no political party or the candidate suffered adversely or gained undue advantage and because of the dissemination of the result of the poll then the commission has also took the note while they have recommended into the restriction or the regulation on the publishing of the, the or dissemination of the result of the po opinion poll or the exit poll. In this, the election commission has recommended to amend the section 126 of the Representation of People's Act in that that now they are going to prohibit the the uh, this uh, um, system on the basis of first is conveying or holding or attending joining or addressing any public meeting procession in connection with the election and displaying to the public any election matters by means of the cinematography, television, or any other matters. Then the propagating, the propagating the election matter into the public by holding any sun musical or theoretical performance are entertaining to the voters means in any polling area during the 48 hours of the, the time period. Here, the again, the related to the pre-poll or the exit poll survey, it has been given by the Press Council of India which is considering the question for the desirability. Here I wanted to mention here that the Press Council of India and others are, they have represented that the, it may be, I repeat, it may be the violating of Article 19.1a. So, the Press Council therefore advised that in the view of the crucial position occupied by the electoral process, 
in a representative democracy like ours the newspaper should be on the guard against the prestigious forum being used for the manipulation of the election see that how this has been emphasized too then the what what was the opinion of the political party here some of the point i have mentioned here the first point is that in the view of all participating members that how the conduct of the opinion poll or the publish of the result or which should be allowed from where they have uh, given their opinion on the particular day of issue of statutory notification calling for the election and till the completion of the election and the second point is that they have suggested that the once the multi phased election is being taken being done being conducted by the election commission so this has got the entire process and they have suggested the conducting and the publishing the result of the opinion poll should be for the entire period from the first day of the notification of first phase and till the completion of the last phase of the polling now the third one is the result of exit poll should not be allowed to publish until the completion of the poll of the last phase here in that further the guidelines has come by the election commission that the something related to the uh, no power shall publish exit or any other things which relates to the 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 um, uh, this uh, uh, what do you call however the genuine they may be till the last bit is over so here some of the the things are what i wanted to mention here is that the check republic the publication of opinion is prohibited in the check republic entire week in the proceeding of the day election up until the close of the voting then in the france article 11 says that the the publication and broadcasting of the opinion poll was also banned and for the seven days proceeding of the each of the two rounds voting in the country national election exit poll was banned then further we can say that in the india in 1998 the election commission also issued the guidelines resulting the opinion poll and exit poll which prohibit the publication of the opinion polls beginning for the 48 hours but in during the 99 election numerous media institution ignored the ban and were subsequently prosecuted by the election commission after the number of lower courts this decisions means which has exceeded the power or superintendents and director control granted to the article 324 of the uh, this constitution of india then also then under the italy this also prohibit the publication of electoral polls begins 15 days before the election day and continues till the closing of the day and which result that the public prior to block blackout period must be accompanied by the information about the polling and some of the case uh, i have uh, gone through that the, in the peru they have there the election electoral law in 1997 
that it article 191 it imposes a 15 day blackout period on the publication of electoral survey which results prior to the election day and the section section sanction of the violation is fine the amount of which determined by the national legal election oversight commission and the further this has been continued by in the russia also that the article 47 this the law of election for the russian president 2002 it has prohibits the publication of any electoral survey the result of five day prior to election day and on election day itself and this law further also requires that when the opinion polls are published the some of the things should not be disclosed such as the name organization survey result name of the organization and other things are so this is the something which has been uh, this uh, what do you call the study of the different countries but here the recommendation of election commission to the ministry of law after the giving the some of the information taking the the some uh, input from the different political parties the law the election commission has given the recommendation to the ministry of law to some of the changes is to be made because the only recommendation cannot be done to implement in the whole india or the state the law ministry obtained the opinion from the attorney general and some of the opinion has been given and saw and they said this would breach the article 191 of the constitution and further they suggested the some of the guidelines could be provided to disseminate the result port survey the agency concerned should also provide the public with the sufficient information regarding the name of the political parties organization which commissioned the survey the identity of the organization conducting the survey and the methodology employed the sample choosing and the margin of the error etc and that is open for the commission exercise the plenary powers under the article 324 <laughs> to issue the direction requiring by the media to comply with the guidelines further this is the guidelines where they have given that no newspaper shall publish the exit poll survey however genuine they may be till the last of the poll is over so therefore we can say that the some of the another guidelines has also been provided to you can refer to the many things into that uh, this is the press and media uh, guidelines related to the 1997 and the special guidelines of the press council of india and national broadcasting association regarding covering coverage of election news and programs and this could be the some restriction over the uh, this press and media for the opinion and exit poll during the polls one of the guidelines is also prescribed in the press council of india's guidelines on election reporting that is 1996 some of the i i wanted to mention here first is 
that it will be the duty of the press to give the objective report about the election on the candidate. The newspaper should not expect it to indulge in unhealthy election campaigns. Then election campaigns along communal caste lines is banned. So these are the things is already mentioned into the Press Council of India guidelines. Then again, news broadcasting standard authorities, NBSA, that also framed the guidelines related to that. You can go through that. So then this is the, the overlook which I have given on the this uh, exit polls and the public opinions. You can write down one question that is write in detail about the opinion and exit poll in the general election or the assembly election. So by this, I should conclude here. If you have any uh, query, you can call me at this number 9289460 and 910 or you can write me at this email id kv.asthana at the date cpj.edu.in. For them, then thank you. Thank you very much.